gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up Good morning, everyone. I am sitting at our kitchen table in our new house, and I'm actually writing um, an email for our homeschool community. Yesterday was our community day, and I usually send out a summary email for our families of what they should all be working on this week. So it is early here in the morning, and I'm getting that done and I'm also thinking about all the stuff that needs to be accomplished around the house. But I think today I'm gonna go ahead and give you a just moved in tour of the house. So you guys get to see our home today, but you have to excuse it because we have boxes everywhere. Um, we're still trying to uh, get unpacked because we've only slept in the house since this last Saturday. So four nights, I think that is. I'm doing the math very quickly. But I just wanted to show you around. Um, yeah, so we're digging through boxes. I actually stole one of Luke's sweatshirts. Sorry, babe, but I couldn't find the box that had all my clothes in it, so I just stole one of his sweatshirts. A um, few other things we have going on today. I'm gonna get my hair cut. I'm excited about that. It's long overdue. And uh, have a few deliveries coming by the house, but I just wanted to show you guys around, so let's go take a look. All right, guys, so I thought I would um, start in the front of the house <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little nervous filming out here. I'm sure our neighbors are saying, honey, the, the, the neighbors are filming their house. What's going on? And Luke showed a few pictures that shows the whole property, but I can't get back far enough to get that. So we have the three car garage on this side. And I absolutely love the fact that we have this porch and it wraps all the way around the house. I'll give you a tour of that in a minute. So that is the front. And then we just step up here and Come on in. <laughs> Here's Reagan. Hi, Reiki. Hi, buddy. I think he likes the new house. Right as you come in, we've got the stairway upstairs. There's Zoe. And to our left, we have um, like a formal sitting room. And like I said, guys, we just moved in. So excuse the mess, but we're going to have boxes in every room. So. This is going to be the formal sitting room here. We have some big windows that look out front. And this was actually, uh, they used it as a formal dining room, but we are going to extend this into a sitting room. We got rid of our huge dining room table and set, and we're going to open this up into just a large sitting room. I'm hoping to get some chairs or something that goes over here and maybe put our coffee station here or on this wall. And over here we're gonna have our library of books. And then uh, you come through here and it's got a walkway into the kitchen. I've got my fridge, dishwasher, and it just has the countertops and goes around. Um, this is one on my wish list. So we are hoping to get a double oven and a gas range at some point. We have the center island here. It's a little messy. I was unpacking some boxes this morning. Um, and then this flows right into our little dining area. Um, we have our kitchen table there. That's where I was sitting and vlogging. And then we have our main living room and Kenya's on the couch with Maui. He's trying to get used to the new house. <laughs> and this is the new furniture that we got for this room. We love it. Um, we got it off of Wayfair, and I'm not sure if it's going to stay exactly where it's at, but it's very comfortable. We got it for a great deal. Um, it just helped us get some furniture in the new house. And then we have the windows that go all the way up. Makes it nice and bright, and you can kind of see our backyard back there. Nice fireplace and a place for our TV. This wraps around, and we're gonna come through here. Down this hallway is going to be our classroom. So we have a small room in here, and we have the guinea pigs in here right now. 
But this will be our classroom uh, and office, my office, uh, where we do school. And guys, I love these. Every room has these, I don't know what you call them. They're the shutter windows. So I love them because you can close them like this and then they open up. And then the other thing is they do open like that and they open all the way up. So all the windows, most of the windows have those in all of the rooms and I really like that. I don't think we're gonna keep the classroom wall color. It's blue. I think we'll probably switch that up. And um, if you saw the wall color in the front living room, where, right when I walked in the door, I think we'll change that as well. So you come here and we have our garage. You guys saw the outside, but it's a three car garage. And then right here on the main floor is a bathroom. And it's got a shower and sink down here. Right really close to the classroom, so that works well. And I guess I will take you to the basement next. So if you come back into the kitchen, we have this doorway. And we got very fortunate, our basement is finished. And over to the right, we have, it's gonna be a home theater area. So we have a counter over here and this is where we will put our big drop down screen that we have. And back here, we love this when we looked at the house. It's got the um, theater seating. So one is higher than the other. And we put our two older couches down here for that. So we have a nice little theater area that we can have family movie nights. You guys see all the boxes I get to get through. And if you go to the left, when you come down the stairs, we have this area where we'll put some cabinets in for snacks. Our popcorn machine will probably go over there. And we have this entertaining area. It's all filled with boxes right now, but it's got a little countertop back here. And we have water. And I'll show you the other side here. So people can sit here and have snacks and talk and have a good time. And then this opens up into a big area right here. And Luke and I are trying to figure out kind of what we're gonna do with it. Well, we might put a foosball table in, some fun things for the kids to do when they're hanging out. Um, I would like to put, I think they call them a couch table um, behind here. So if people wanna sit back here and eat and watch the movie they can we have more of those shutter windows down here it's nice and bright when you open it up guys i have to tell you one thing i love about this house most of the tile flooring is heated <laughs> um, so my feet won't get cold i always have cold feet but there's sensors all over the house and where there's tile floor it heats it electrically underneath and it's so nice to walk around on. So we come around here and we have a storage closet. I think this is gonna be our pantry where we keep all our food and storage items. That's what we've done so far. We have a small room back here. There's no closet in this room, but we have designated this as the Peloton workout room. And right now it's just uh, caught a lot of the extra boxes that we couldn't set around and Lincoln's Lego collection. <laughs> a half bath, there's no shower or um, tub in this one. So we have a small bathroom. The other thing I love guys is this is a walkout basement. So this walks out to our backyard and to our property. So this is our basement. We're really excited to do some projects. I want to switch lighting out. Uh, we've thought about repainting down here. Um, just really make it a fun hangout area for family and kids. And we're back to the main living room and the dogs and Kenya. <laughs> do you like the new house? I love the new house, especially love the land. You like running around? Yeah. And here comes Lincoln. Do you like the new house? Oh, I love it. It's awesome. What's your favorite part? 
I think all the land, just everything on the house is awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. really, really awesome. Oh, guys, I forgot one thing here. Right when you come in the front door and to the right is a small walk-in coat closet. We already have coats hung, but we also have boxes in here right now. But it's pretty good size, so we can keep people's coats in when they come and visit. Upstairs we go. And we'll swing around this way. And this is Lincoln's new room. And his bed, we don't know if we're gonna keep this set up. We redid his bedroom and the other house did a makeover. And we ordered this bed for him, but now that we're in here, and the setup's a little different, um, we will see what we do. But we want to repaint in here as well. He's got his closet that we have to <laughs> get organized. So there's Lincoln's room. And then we come back out here. We have a small linen closet right there. And we come in here and this is the kids' bathroom. They've got a nice tub and shower. Double sinks here and here. And then in here we have Miss Kenya's room. And we have decided we will be getting her a different bed eventually, hopefully with some storage underneath, uh, some drawers. And she's got, both kids have the shutters in their room and can look out. She has downsized a bit, but she's okay with it. I'm excited to find a creative way to make more storage space in their closet. So lots of Amazon shopping and seeing what I can find. And I'll share those ideas with you guys as I find them. She's back up here now. <laughs> Hi. Yep. You like your room? I love my room. Yeah. I'm really excited to see what I can do with it. And I love all the sunlight that comes in here. Yeah. So probably new paint in here as well. Um, and then you come across this way. Oh goodness, guys. This is our laundry room and I'm so excited because I have never had a laundry room on the same floor as our bedrooms. So I'm really excited about this. And this is the delivery I told you about in the beginning of the video. We are getting washer and dryers uh, delivered today, but the kids and I have to get all these boxes out. And the reason why we have so many boxes in here is I will tell you about that in one moment. It's got a nice closet in it. And eventually I would like to replace the floor in here. Uh, not completely, but just put a new covering on the floor. And this is the master bedroom. And there's a story with this room. It was our first big home project that we weren't expecting. Um, the previous owners, owned a pet and they kept the pet in the room and the carpet was completely ruined and when they got all the furniture out and Luke and I came over we noticed we were going to have to get new floors so we were very fortunate to be able to take the carpet out and this is laminate wood floor that we had put down and guys they were putting the floor in the same day that we were moving in the same day that the movers we're carrying all the big stuff in and everything. So while we had furniture being carried in the house and we were trying to tell everybody which room everything went in, up here was a lot of noise of hammering and saws going, cutting the floor to the right measurements and everything because they were putting in the new floor for us that we weren't expecting to do right away, but it, it was not livable. Luke and I could not be in this room. So I have a new floor in my master bedroom and I absolutely love it. I love the color. Uh, I wasn't too crazy about the color in this room to begin with, but now that the floor's in, I think I like it. I still think I might do some repainting in here as well. So let me show you the rest of our room, but that's the story behind that. We have some nice bright windows over here, and I think the floor helped the color in this room, but I still think I'm gonna repaint. And here, guys, it's like a window seat. Um, I want to find a cover to go on there and in here guys our bathroom has heated tile floors as well So this is our bathroom. We have a nice countertop over here. I'm trying to decide what we're gonna do There's a small place where I could put a chair as soon as I get the boxes moved and here we actually have a steam shower 
So we love that and we love the heated floors. So does Reagan. Reagan's like, ooh, the floors are warm. <laughs> and if you come in here, we have a small walk-in closet. I'm gonna get creative with storage. And Zoe has a bed up here. Hi, Zoe. That is our master bedroom. And there's a nice little lookout down into the main living room. So that is the upstairs of our house. And then it just goes right down to the main foyer. So that is the inside of our house, the living part of our house. But that is not all this property had to offer. And there are a few other things that we wanna show you that actually sold us on this property. We love the house, I love all the things that are here and um, there are a few projects here and there but you always have projects when you're a homeowner and it actually is exciting to be able to start making a list uh, or a to-do list and a wish list of things to work on. But now I'm going to take you guys outside. I wanna show you our wraparound deck, our backyard and a few other things. Still being on uh, with the main house, uh, we have a nice wraparound deck and Luke and I love this because we love to entertain, we love to be outside. So we have some of our older patio furniture here and it looks out the front of our property. We have three flagpoles, so this one they drop down so you can um, put the flag on and then raise it up and you can telescope them up. And then we have two other ones, so we have the flagpoles out front. This is actually a cream separator that the previous owner left. It's really cool, it's just kind of artwork. But we have this nice sitting area on our front porch and all of this clear out to the white fence that you guys see beyond the tree is our property. And our porch just walks around to the side. We have another uh, flag holder there. And I'm gonna kind of show you guys our property way out here. So if you see that white fence, that's where it goes. We love all the trees. The kids have been loving running around here. So we're still walking around on our deck. There are lights so we can be out here at night. But this is one of the things that we absolutely loved, guys, is that we can be outside. I wanna get um, some of those white or wood rocking chairs. I think it would be fun to have to sit out here. Um, maybe hang a swing for the kids to sit out here and, and just be. Here's more of our property. Like I said, look for the white fence. <laughs> you can kind of see it a little bit between the trees there. And then we walk around to the back side. We're on the back side of our house. Luke has his Traeger. We've been using that a lot right now until I find all the pots and pans for cooking. <laughs> and we have a hot tub right now. Um, this was the previous owners, but it's still in good shape. So we think we're gonna keep it there for a while. That might be a project for another day that if we move it um, or do something else there. And we have a nice sitting area right here too. And this awning is electric, so it comes out if you want more shade. But there are, there's so much sun on the back side of the house. So that is pretty much the main house. Um, you guys can see our back fence here. So the next part of this tour are some of the big things that really sold us on this property. And where I'm going to take you is the first outbuilding that we have. And it was so important to us because it fits our brand new camper. And our camper that we bought last, it was late summer, um, we were sad at the old house because we always had to go get it and bring it to the house and pack it and it wasn't with us. And so this property offered a building that we could actually store our camper in and a couple other things. So we're gonna go check out that building really quick and I'm gonna show you the front of it of the outside and then we're gonna go in. So you guys see we have the main house here and this is our house for our Camp David camper. So let's go in. Um, the great thing about this guys is our camper is right next to us. And when we're ready to take a trip, I just come over here and look here it is. Our Camp David camper all snug and cozy. <laughs> 
and um, protected from the elements. It'll help it last longer. But this is our camper building and it's got a super high ceiling. The door over here is awesome. It's an automatic door. Yeah, and while we're facing this way, I'll show you, this is still more of our property here. And we love our driveway. It's super easy to come in. We can turn around, it's nice and big. We can back the camper right in and it just fits right in there guys super excited and so blessed to have this and now that the camper is right on our property so this is the other side and the building's so wide we can even have our um, pop outs um, all the way out on the camper our good friend Susie were they those were our friends that let us keep the camper on their property until we bought this one um, they got us this sign for us. So thank you, Susie and Gary. We really appreciate it for the sign. And thank you for letting us store a camper at your place. Really quick, while we're in this building, we did have a few uh, storage shelves built in here before we moved in. The main house didn't have a lot of storage area. So our area where we um, are putting things have moved to some of the outbuildings. And our um, really good friend is a contractor and he built some shelves for us to put all of our storage tubs in and stuff like that. So I'll show you guys around this building and then we'll keep going. These are the shelves that our friend built for us right before we moved in and they have come in so handy. So handy guys. Um, it's really helped us out. We don't have to put all this stuff in the house. Uh, and you walk around here. This is from the previous owner. Uh, we still have storage shelves that we're trying to find places for. Um, Luke has a nice workbench over on this side as soon as we get stuff unpacked. Uh, he also brought his workbench. We've got old TVs that we're trying to get rid of. But this is the other side. We have a great place to store our bikes. And the great thing about this building, guys, is it is temperature controlled. So if we want to come out here and work, it, we can make it warmer and it's more comfortable. And it also helps with the storage of the camper because then it won't freeze. All right, I'm going to go out a different door than what I came in. This opens up right to our back deck. While I'm walking around talking to you guys, I'm sitting here thinking where would be a good spot for our chicken coop and our gardens. And I might even do some bee hives um, for honey. I don't know, we'll see if I'm brave enough to do that. But all this clear back there is ours. So I'm sitting here trying to say, okay, where could we do our gardens? Where could we do our chicken coop? So let's come back over here. That door that I just came out comes into a walkway and we have a small breezeway between the two buildings. And we turn around and now we're gonna walk down to our second outbuilding. I wanna show you the back side of the house. And before we go to that second outbuilding, we're gonna come down here. It's really awesome. We have some storage down here. Um, in the basement, we have a pellet stove. And um, we have storage room here. And we come this way. We actually have an outdoor storage area where I have put all our holiday decoration. It's good that we do have that because I have a lot of holiday decorations, but I still have to get through stuff, organize it and everything. So we're gonna come back this way and now I'm gonna take you to that second building here. I love that we have walkways. This is actually a gas fire pit. Um, they have a gas line running to it. So we can't wait to find some patio furniture to sit out here. I am so excited about all these trees. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully Luke putting some Christmas lights on them. And there's our back of the house, but putting Christmas lights on them so all the neighbors and everybody can enjoy it. So here we go. And you guys can see it's got a garage door that opens up and then it just 
goes out here. Lincoln is excited about this because he's a golfer, so he can practice chipping and and uh, his golf swing, hopefully. <laughs> and let's go on in. All right. So this is the second outbuilding. In this second building, Luke and I are so excited for the potential of this building. We have a vision for this to be an entertainment space, and it is a blank canvas right now, but we wanna have this be a place where we can have gatherings and have fun, um, have movies out here, but also have games for the kids, and just do a lot of fun things. So I'll walk you around. This building is climate controlled as well, so it heats up in the winter if we want it to. And the two large garage doors, so there's one right over here and one down here. If you open them up in the summer, the air can come through. So let's take a quick look. And this also has a bathroom in it too. And the previous owner put all this wood up. Um, and I love this floor. I envision just a small little soda shop for me to build for the kids to come out here and have snacks and drinks and they can hang out. And when the cousins visit, I envision turning this into like a bunkhouse slash game room. We're gonna tear all these cabinets out. So much fun and potential, guys. We can't wait to show you everything or to do the projects and show you the projects. There's that other door that opens up. And right in here, we have a bathroom. And we are back outside that second outbuilding. There's a little fenced in yard here. I love this. I was thinking maybe we could get a pig or maybe a goat. I don't think Luke would approve though. <laughs> but we, we can walk around and I'll show you the other side of this building. This is the back side of our property and the back side of that outbuilding. We turn around and you can see our main house and the rest of our front yard. So that is our just moved in tour of our new house. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to all the fun little projects that we're gonna be able to do throughout the time that we're here and the family memories that are gonna be made. I have the kids right behind me. They are getting ready to do some school and I'm waiting for my washer and dryer to be delivered. So I have to get upstairs and get that laundry room cleaned out. A quick update on the washer and dryer. They are here, they have them installed, and now I think I should be able to start some laundry, but let me show them to you really quick. And I was able to get the laundry room completely cleaned out before they got here and got those delivered. Here is our new washer and dryer. They are LG and um, I really like it. Our dryer is on the left and the guys were so nice. They switched it for us so the door will open up the opposite way. They're nice and big. Brand new guys, I'm so excited. And then here's our washer. So I'm actually looking forward to starting a quick load of laundry. We have come to the end of our day here at Camp David. I feel it's been a pretty good day. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of our house and seeing all the different things that the property has to offer. Um, I was excited about our washer and dryer. I've done a few loads of laundry and they've worked great. And I think now I am just gonna go sit down and answer comments for our video. I haven't got around to that, so I'm gonna go do that and call it a day. Hopefully tomorrow we can get some more unpacking done. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.